Hey, is this thing on? When are you going to stop? Stop accepting crumbs. Stop listening to pitiful excuses. Stop putting up with foolishness. Stop neglecting yourself in the name of the idea of love with people who do not truly love you or care about you. Sometimes on this channel, we have to have difficult conversations, and this may be one of those difficult conversations for you. But know that it's coming from a place of genuine concern because I know you deserve better, and I want you to know that you deserve better. If it's your first time here, welcome back to the channel. My name is Amber. I am a lifestyle coach and a career coach. And here on my channel, I share a lot of different information, but sometimes I specifically focus on self-love. I actually have a full playlist on self-love advice because it's so important in making good decisions in your life. And self-love is extremely, extremely vital to help you make sure that you are choosing to spend your life with the right person and you're not wasting your time on these relationships that are not adding any value to your life and are not making you feel any better about yourself. So welcome back to the channel. Let's go ahead and get into this chat. So let's go ahead and dive in. Today we're going to be talking about your love life. Do you want the fairy tale yet somehow you continue to end up getting the nightmare? It's probably related to your self-esteem because you don't value yourself enough you're allowing anyone to enter into your life to hold things that are sacred to you and to have control over aspects of your life when they don't deserve to. Having low self-worth can definitely ruin your love life because you're going to have so many more sad moments than happy ones because you continue to deal with people who are not genuinely invested in you. A lot of times when we see content on building healthy relationships, it kind of talks about the actions that you have to do while you're in the relationship. But today we're really going to focus on that pre-work. What can you do now to build your self-worth, to build your self-esteem, to fall deeply in love with yourself so that when you get into a relationship, you can make sure that from everything from your side, your perspective, all the work that you're putting in is going to make that a healthy relationship. You cannot have a healthy relationship with someone else until you have a healthy relationship with yourself because then you're going to know who's deserving and who's worthy of getting the privilege to be in a relationship with you. So before we get into the effects of having low self-worth, let's go ahead and discuss exactly what low self-worth means and what that looks like. It can manifest itself in a variety of different ways, such as always seeking validation, consistently feeling unworthy or unloved, having a negative self-image, or even continually engaging in self-sabotaging behaviors. These actions can lead to a downward spiral in your love life if you don't take action and really do an honest self-examination to figure out what changes you need to make right now. So one of the first ways that having low self-worth can ruin your love life is because you are attracting unhealthy partners. You cannot fix someone. You cannot build a man to become anything that you've imagined. You can't say, oh, he's got potential. I'm working with him. I'm working with them. Potential in some areas, yes, that is extremely important. Don't count someone out just because they're not perfect or exactly where you want them to be yet. But in the important areas, potential is not enough. That is not going to cut it. And the way that he treats you, the way that he values you, the way that he treats others, the way that he makes life decisions in a way that can benefit you and your family in the future, those things, we don't have time for potential. You cannot focus on putting pieces together for someone else. A lot of times when you don't feel great about yourself and you have low self-worth, you are going to attract someone who wants to latch on to that. They're like, perfect. I can really attack this person slowly from the inside out. And you don't want to give them that power. These relationships are often toxic. They have very unhealthy codependency. And there's a lot of emotional abuse involved. No one should ever speak to you in a way that makes you feel like you are less valuable than you truly are. But you have to know where your value is in order to not allow that negativity to even seep in. Never ever believe that, oh, this is the best that I can get. 
when it is less than what you truly deserve. You do not have to settle. I always say you know what your life is like on your own. You have time to build your self-love, to figure out who you are, to get to know yourself on the deepest levels possible. So if you're inviting someone into your world, they definitely have to be worth it. Another very unhealthy trait that can develop in relationships when you're having low self-worth is intensified insecurity and jealousy. When you have low self-worth, you can constantly doubt yourself. You may feel like you're not worthy of your partner or they don't really care about you, and you start to imagine things that are not even a reality. Why are you putting yourself through this mental strain and stress and turmoil of feelings of jealousy and insecurity when they don't have to be a thing? The first thing to consider is the person that you're with should never make you feel insecure or jealous. Their focus should always be on you and you should always know that you are their priority. Do not get into a relationship with someone who thinks it's fun or cute or it's gonna make you like them even more if they can make you feel jealous. That is not a healthy emotion to have on a regular basis and especially not within a relationship. So please look out for people who are like, hey, you've got to prove to me that you deserve to be chosen. Why? I'm already chosen. Whether or not I allow you to enter my life is where we're at at this point. So I'm not wasting my time playing games, doing backflips to become someone that you want to be with, to be the person that you choose. I will never be a pick me girl. Being a pick me is not going to serve you and help you understand that you are the prize. So when you're entering a relationship with low self-worth, another really bad result could be a lack of boundaries. Yes, it's important to have boundaries even in your relationships. And people who love you and respect you and value you will encourage you to have those boundaries in place so that you take care of yourself before you're giving of yourself to them or to others. Don't consistently compromise your needs and your values to make someone else happy. If that person truly loves you and respects you and values you, they're going to want you to speak up when you're like, hey, this isn't something that I'm okay with, or I had a question about this, or I was thinking that potentially we could do this instead. Relationships require work from both people. So you need to be with someone who you can trust that is not going to misuse your kindness and your love to walk all over you or surpass your boundaries. You still have to be firm on who you are and where your boundaries lie. You don't ever want to get to a point where you feel resentful or dissatisfied simply because you didn't speak up. You are worthy of speaking up. You are worthy of sharing your ideas and your opinions and adding in your perspective. And the person who truly loves you is going to appreciate that. And then you can continue to grow and blossom in your relationship together while still feeling supported. And lastly, the devastating effects of having low self-worth can make on your love life is making you feel like you have to settle for less. We don't settle. You have the ability to build a beautiful, amazing, fulfilling life for yourself. So if you're including someone in that, they have to be an addition, an enhancement. They're not coming in to complete you or to make you whole. They are coming in to complement you on your journey of life, and likewise, love in a balanced way, you're complimenting them on their journey as well. But do not settle for anything less than what you truly want and what you truly deserve. And I feel like this definitely comes into play when we think about time that was spent in a relationship. You're like, I don't know why I spent so much time wasting it on him. But at the time, I just felt like he was the best I could get. I felt like I should settle, I should just go ahead and stay with them. Don't do that to yourself. There is no reason why you should ever have to think, well, I guess I'll just. Why? You don't have to just when you can have what you actually want and what you actually need from a relationship. And you have to know that within yourself to stand up for what you deserve. You don't want to get into a cycle of just being with someone and then looking up one day and thinking, why in the world am I here and how do I get myself out of this situation? Really pay attention to who that person is. Pay attention to what you know of yourself and what you want for yourself 
so you don't end up in a relationship that doesn't really even align with who you are. And do not compromise your happiness for the sake of avoiding loneliness. I know it sounds difficult, especially like I am married. I don't know what it's like to feel lonely. I've been married for seven years. My husband's in the other room. But what I do know is that if my husband was not amazing and supportive and uplifting and every piece of the type of man that I wanted to be with, that I would not be happy. I would not be fulfilled. And I would rather be lonely or have to seek other ways to fill that void in my life. But I am not going to put up with someone that I have to drag along. So yes, while it's not necessarily a relationship, cultivate your friendships, cultivate the relationships you have with your families, do things that keep you busy, that are positive, that are helping you work toward goals in your life. Work on yourself, go on a self-love journey, go on solo trips, create a life that you absolutely love for yourself, with yourself. Being your own best friend is the best thing so that you won't feel lonely as often and in moments that you do, you have resources and support and people that you can turn to to help you get through those challenging times. But do not use moments of loneliness as an outlet or as an excuse to get into a relationship with someone who is wasting your time, who is not valuing you, and who does not truly love you. Keep your self-worth high enough to know that being on your own can be way better than being with someone who does not deserve you. I promise you, waiting for the right person, the right partner to spend your life with, to build your life with, is so worth it. There's no need to waste time or just fill a void with anyone because filling a void is not helping you make any progress. You can make way better progress on your own than you can with someone who's just latching on and not uplifting you, not adding value to your life and not helping you or supporting you to get where you would like to be. Please know that you are worthy. You do not have to settle and don't feel like, oh, just because I'm not where I want to be relationship-wise, there's something wrong with me. There are so many factors that go into finding your person in life. Timing has a lot to do with it, location. Like, There's just so many different things going on that are out of your control. But what you can control is enjoying your waiting period, working on yourself, growing in your personal relationship with yourself, really establishing those core values, figuring out what you really want in life, building and working toward that, and never feeling like you have to have someone else because you are whole on your own. Now, having someone to be in a relationship with, and if that is the direction that you choose to go in your life, and if things work out for you in that way, that is wonderful and beautiful. But building your self-worth now while you are on your own is only going to make you feel even more secure and more valued in that relationship because you feel that within yourself and you don't necessarily need someone else to remind you of those things. It's nice to have those reminders, but it's like, thank you. I already know, not in a conceited way, but in a way of just like, I really appreciate that you're here to value and support and uplift me, but I can also do those things for myself. And that is truly wonderful. So don't settle, build your self-worth, know that you are deserving and that you have control over what you allow into your life. So protect your peace, protect your heart, protect your love, because when you are ready to share that with someone else, it is going to absolutely be worth it. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and follow me on Instagram at Affirmations with Amber.